Hey, New Hope, just want to bring you some encouragement uh, from my heart on what God has really wrecked me with this last week. Um, this last week's been really crazy, a lot of busyness uh, with ministry and videoing and editing and youth ministry and family and crazy. And I found myself missing multiple days of spending time with Jesus. And you know as well as I do, it affects you in every single way, in all aspects. And finally got time to sit down in, in, in the presence of God and read and pray and I was really, you know, I felt bad and so I was saying, God, I'll do a fast this weekend to make up for it and I'll do all these things to make up for it. And to be honest, they were probably false promises just to make myself feel better that I was justifying missing time with Jesus. But as I was trying to explain all these things away that I was missing and then explain all the things I'm going to do to make up for it to Jesus, Jesus has stopped me and he spoke so clearly to my heart and my mind, so clearly, and he said, he said, Luke, stop trying to do so much for me and just be with me. Stop trying to do so much for me and just be with me. And that reminded me, he reminded me of John 15 when he said, man, I am the vine, you're the branches, I'm your source of life connected to me. You can do anything, but you need to abide in me. You need to be with me. I'm calling you to be with me. Then once you're with me, you're filled up and empowered and encouraged to go do stuff for me but it can't be the other way around. I was in my own life trying to do all these things for Jesus. I was around Jesus, but I wasn't with him. And I know that when I try to do all these things for Jesus and not be with Jesus, I get burnt out. But the other way around is when I'm with Jesus and I abide in him and he fills me up, that empowers me to go out and do. I truly believe that Jesus values time with you rather than you doing stuff for him. He, ra he would rather have you sit and be in his presence than just go do stuff around him or do stuff for him, yet without him. And so, um, you know, I, I think of, you know, the ultimate big picture of Jesus coming down to this earth, God sending his son as a perfect sacrifice, um, we got saved. We needed to be saved. We needed a savior. And that's what Jesus' blood on the cross did for us. But ultimately, our salvation was not the end goal of it. It was relationship. Jesus came to die for relationship with you and with me. And that relationship could only happen through salvation. Sin separated us from Jesus. And so we needed a savior to bridge the gap for relationship. The relationship with Jesus and with God is his ultimate goal. It's his ultimate pleasure. And it says he pursues you. He wants to be with you because he loves you. And so I challenge you, no matter what you feel like you're doing for Jesus during this time, no matter if you feel like you don't have a second to sit with him, uh, whether your life is crazy with so many more people at home now, or the opposite of you're feeling isolated and alone, I challenge you to just to take time, set aside time to be with your creator, be with your loving savior, because that's what he desires most. And that's what the best thing that you can do for your life in every aspect. So we love you, New Hope. Let me just pray for you. God, I thank you that you died or you sent your son to die, not just to save us so we could have an eternity with you, God, but for ultimately it was relationship because you wanted to be close to us. In fact, you wanted to be so close to us, you gave us your spirit to be inside us, not just around us. I pray that during the busyness and hurriedness of life right now, uh, or maybe even the loneliness and isolation of boredom, either side of the spectrum, God, you would just draw us to you. You would help us create time where we're with you, in your presence, loving you, not trying to get something from you, but being with you, not trying to do something for you, but being with you. We love you, Jesus. Thank you. In your name, amen.